With mass shootings and terrorist threats across the world, the staff at Camp Lejeune's Naval Hospital received critical training to learn the best ways to respond. WNCT's Jacqueline Matter attended a training exercise aboard base. More than 500 Marines, sailors, civilians, and hospital staff members participated in today's mass casualty training. The goal to be prepared for any situation. During the drill, a simulated blast went off at Tarawa Terrace. Responders pretended to treat nearly 100 injured role players. He needs blood. We already had the IV started. The injured had fake wounds applied to their bodies, ranging from open chest injuries to burns to minor cuts. Hospital staff members assigned colors to the severity of their injuries. Hospital commanding officer Rick Friedman says drills are necessary for staff members to push their boundaries. In order for us to be ready at a moment's notice, we have to train so that we're ready. They also had the opportunity to test a first of its kind patient tracking system. It works like this. A staff member scans the patient's color coded tag. The receiving hospital has information on the injured before they arrive to better care for them. And I think it's something that's uh, useful as far as tracking patients, not only within your hospital, but within a region in case we had to fly somebody to another medical facility. We could find them pretty easy. Hospital officials say while the training is as realistic as possible, there are some things which can't be simulated. This includes the chaos during a mass casualty incident. They say being prepared for incidents like what happened in Brussels and Paris is key. We remain a vulnerable target and the only way to decrease our vulnerability is to participate in exercises like this designed to stress our system, identify areas where we can improve and as well identify our strengths. Hospital officials say the Marines also use the training when in combat or deployed. Aboard Camp Lejeune, Jacqueline Matter, 9 on your side.